This avoidance course teaches drivers how to purposely swerve to avoid danger without losing control of your car. First exercise, we're going to be driving down the street like we're normally driving. We're going to go into the trap where the cones are. Right in the middle there, you'll see what is is a tricycle right in the middle of the street. Well, it wasn't there two seconds ago. The kid just came off going like crazy, bam, right in the middle of the street. So you're going to have to brake, swerve out of the way, and continue on behind the child and stop in the road because you need to make sure that that kid's okay and that there isn't anything else around, okay? So in order to do that, we're going to head on down there and with our grand picture in mind here, we're going to be going about 25, 30 miles an hour. We're going to lock the brakes up. We're going to come off of the brakes because you can't steer and brake at the same time. You're going to come off the brakes for a split second. You're going to drive around the child on the trike, avoid them, and then in a straight line after you've gone on the other side, you're going to stop for me. Okay? The key to this exercise is to ease up on your brakes during your controlled swerve to ensure traction. Locked front wheels means no steering. Remember, if you don't have ABS, you can lock your wheels if you brake too hard. In panic stops, non-ABS brakes require that you pump them or let up a little so that your wheels can turn enough to give you steering control. That's why it's so important to know before you start your engine whether or not your vehicle is equipped with ABS. We hope this video has helped you appreciate some of the car control techniques that can help you deal with emergency situations out on the road. Let's review what we've learned. You can't drive safely if your seat position is not properly adjusted. Make sure nothing is blocking your shifter and that your head restraints are behind your head. Be sure your mirrors are adjusted to see your blind spots, not the sides of your car. Keep your thumbs clear of your airbag and make sure your arms stay clear of the space between your airbag and your face. Remember that traction depends on the contact where your tires touch the road. If you lose traction in the front, ease up on your accelerator or very gently brake to shift the weight to the front of your vehicle. This will increase front end traction. If you lose traction in the rear, look in the direction that you want to go and steer in that direction. Don't get hypnotized by the car in front of you. Scan the traffic as far ahead as you can see. If brake lights come on, ease up on the accelerator and be prepared to slow or stop. Be sure you know whether or not you have ABS before starting your vehicle. To apply your brakes safely in an emergency, you must know this beforehand. This knowledge could very well save your life. We hope these tips will help you be more conscious of the vehicle you're driving and of the car control techniques you should be thinking about before you need them, so you don't have to think about them when you need them. Thank you.